Yes. Record po ko. All right. So, um, welcome again. Okay, so um, before ako magsimula, gusto ko muna mag-share ng isang story, ano, quick story lang. Ano. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Sin of the Desert, the story. Familiar ba? If not, right? So, ito siya. So, there's a, there's a certain community, you no? Know, right? So, there's a community na, ano na sila, famished and um, talagang wala nang pag-asa, no? Because they don't have uh, food, they don't have anything that to consume to to keep them to sustain them no and one person one person decided to leave that community and find for food or any resources ano and so pag alis niya lumakbay siya ng ilang araw ano nap nadating siya sa isang desierto and pagdating niya sa desierto mahabang lakbay na naman and then one day nakakita siya ng isang Oasis, ano? So, nag dali-dali pumunta siya sa Oasis. Pagdating niya sa Oasis, ang daming pagkain, ang daming tubig. So, sa tingin niyo, itong taong to, anong gagawin niya? Itong tao ba na ito, um, he'll just keep the Oasis for himself or babalik siya sa community niya at sasabihan niya yung community na Punta ka dito, um, punta kayo dito kasi maraming pagkain, um, maraming tubig. So, anong gagawin natin kung tayo yung nasa sitwasyon na yun? We share, right? So, this is one of the stories na I first heard sa IMG, ano, and that's the reason why I'm here. And since I joined IMG, since I heard about IMG um, early in 2016, because I don't want to commit the sin of the desert. So, ano ba yung um tinatawag da- natin dito na abundance ano ba yung dapat natin i-share no so that this is what we're going to have tonight so we're going to have a book study um all the learnings that we are going to share is from this book so this is a financial literacy class right so the book is called the secret to saving and building your future become your own financial educator so tayo bawat isa sa atin dapat matuto tayo yung financial educator ng self natin hindi kailangan na umasa tayo sa ahente sa government sa banko right kasi tayo naman yung gumagawa ng financial decision every time we receive our salary or income from our business or whatever it is uh, na source ng ating mga um, income, right? And um, yeah, so but we can discuss everything of course in the book because we only have one hour but um, we will be sharing the most important, we extracted the most important ones but um, if you want a copy of the book just let me know, okay? Meron tayong free copy nito and um, Lai and um, Sheila, Miss Sheila can share it to you, okay? And uh, yeah, let me just properly introduce myself. My name is Maria Sharina Advincala and um, I'm a homemaker, a mom of two. I think that's my primary role naman sa buhay ngayon. Ano? And um, I am an AFP of the Registered Financial Planners of the Philippines and an advocate and trainer of IMG since 2016. And now an executive marketing director and green jacket trainer and a certified life insurance underwriter and of course an investor and entrepreneur. So yan lang po ako. And then um, proceed po tayo ano. So, sino ba si IMG? May, siguro may idea na kayo no, kanina sa video na ipinakita. But for me, ah, si IMG, as you can see here, is a community and environment. More than just a business itself, more than just being a financial brokerage na registered sa Insurance Commission and sa SEC, no? it's a community of savers and investors. So, um, di ba, marami namang community all around the Philippines, all around the world. We have like, Rotary, mga religious communities, mga like, like Toastmasters. What do they advocate on? Like Rotary, di ba, they give, uh, they give charities, mga dole out. Toastmaster, they, they advocate on developing your leadership and public speaking skills, right? And uh, mga mga religious institutions na nagbibigay din ng mga tulong, ganyan. Yung IMG naman, what we do is we advocate on financial education. And um, sa, sa lahat ng ito, sa lahat ng mga, you know, mga community na ito, nakita ko yung, yung financial education, yung tinutulong ni IMG is something na sustainable. Di ba may sinasabi nga tayo na um, 
give a man a fish and he lives for a day. It's like charity, right? Dole out. But teach a man how to fish and he lives for a lifetime. So yan yung ginagawa ni IMG kasi yung financial education itself helps the person uh, make um, better, sound financial um, decisions, di ba? Kasi, di ba, ang dami nga natin kilala na nasa scam. Kahit na mga, mga lawyer na, kahit PhD na, kahit mga academically, professionally successful, but um, nabibiktima tima pa rin ang scam or sila mismo nagiging scammer because they lack financial education, right? Walang exemption. If kahit ano pang nas, na, naabot mo sa buhay, kung wala kang financial education, we are bound to make financial mistakes. And that's it. No? So once financially educated tayo, we... we we execute properly, no? We we make less financial mistakes. So, uh, and we also get better deals sa mga financial products. Diba? Kasi we know better. So, for example, may kaibigan ka na financial advisor tapos lalapit sa'yo and bebentahan ka ng, um, or mag-anak mo ba, ng insurance product. Now, if you're financially educated, you can ask the right questions. Diba? Kasi yung nangyari sa akin dati, before IMG, kumuha ako ng insurance. But yun nga, hindi ako financially educated. And I learned now when I joined IMG na ang mahal, mahal pala ng kinuha ko. And I was underinsured. And I thought na magpipay lang ako ng 10 years. But actually, he, he, ano pala siya? Lifetime. No, and nasa contract siya but hindi talaga siya hindi kasi yung mga terms di ba sa sa mga financial products hindi siya madaling maintindihan so ayun ano and i've met a lot of people na yun talaga yung akala nila la 10 years 5 years 15 years lang magpipay but um, if they'd look at their policy they'd see there na until usually 99 years old magpipay so yun yung isa sa mistake ko dati before IMG na talagang um na na awaken na ako sa IMG no nga na kulang na kulang talaga ako ng financial hindi lang ako pati yung husband ko ano siya din kasi meron din siyang financial product doon so dati so maling decision it's just because um yung agent din na nilapitan namin syempre hindi naman din nila kasalanan it's like they are just trained to sell talaga no hindi talaga to educate their sellers they're they're branded as advisors or how do you call that? Consultants, but um, they are actually sellers um, and uh, they have quota. Kami wala kami quota sa ING, that's why. So, you know, um, marami pa tayong matututunan pala, no? Dumami na yata ako doon. <laughs> so, you know, and together with us in this campaign, we have here some um, personalities like um, Karina Sanchez, if you can see Karina, she's holding our book and she's also advocating on financial literacy. She herself experienced um, in early 2000, daw, sabi, siya mismo yung nag-share noon na that time, di ba, we thought that she's a peak of, at the peak of her career and very successful na siya. But yung totoo pala daw noon is lubog na lubog na daw siya sa utang. And um, paano siya nakabangon? Natulungan siya ni IMG. You know? And right now, she's really um, advocating on people na makawala sa utang. So yun yung sinusulong niya. And that's why she's one of our brand ambassadors. We also have Sharon Coneta. She's our ambassador for Kaiser. Siya naman yung shinare niya dati is that... Um, that I think that was two years ago or last year ba yun? La last year, um, she shared naman uh, when her mom got sick and eventually she passed away, no? A few years ago. So, um, yung bills hospital was double-digit million. So, ang nangyari, no? Bankrupt talaga siya. And the, yung nag-rescue pa sa kanya sa bills is yung anak niya, si Casey. So, one realization is dapat talaga may May nakalaan ka na fund for your healthcare. Wala naman yung mama niya noon. So, yun yung nangyari sa kanya. No? So, for that not to happen again and for that not, for her not to give a problem, the same problem to Casey later on, now she got her own um, long-term care. Para later on kung magkasakit man siya, may mangyari man, um, tumanda man siya na, you know, um, uh, tawag nito, um, magkasakit na siya, hindi mo problema sila, Casey, kasi may long-term healthcare siya. Hindi to pareho ng healthcare na 
um, libre sa atin sa company kasi mga short term yun. So, ito yung um, isinusulong din ni IMG. And then we also have Tito Boy Abunda, Tito Boy naman is also advocating on financial education. Uh, more importantly on life insurance, the importance of life insurance, the types of insurances and everything else. And here, um, so left side, I know we can see Brother Bo Sanchez. Brother Bo Sanchez is one of the famous um, preacher, no missionary in the Philippines, and um, isa din siya sa um, kasama natin sa IMG as member. And he really credits his financial knowledge to this big three, yung ating founders ng IMG, si Sir Joen, um, Sir Noel, and Sir Bart. These are billionaires already, but very humble people. Every day, they won't test it, except ngayon kasi COVID, no? They talk to even um, janitors, to um, security guards, just to to share, no, share financial education to them. So, um, kaya bahagi din natin si sa natin si Brother Bo Sanchez because um, because of IMG and because of our mentors, na tutu siya paano yung right way na magpalago ng pera, and that's the reason why he is able to share more to others right now. Do you, would you believe na out of the hundred percent ng income niya, ten percent lang is what he keeps for himself? And the rest, 90%, goes to missionaries, to charities. So, ganyan. Kasi sabi pa nga niya, nga niya, yung purpose daw ng wealth is to help others. So, maging good steward ng money. Yun yung sinasabi niya. So, ba't ba namin ginagawa ito? Ano? So, medyo serious na to. <laughs> so, sabi dito, we have a challenging future ahead of us. A large number of Filipinos will face increasing challenges in four major areas. Familiar tayo dito sa scenarios na ito, no? So, number one is uncertain labor market. Diba? There's no such thing as job security nowadays, no? Kasi lahat, halos lahat nag-automate na, di ba? Kung pumunta ka ng McDo bago pa nga nag-COVID or Jollibee, yung dati sa cashier ka magte-take ng order o ibibigay yung order mo ngayon, ano na lang. Dati, nakikita lang natin sila kung pupunta tayo sa ibang bansa, like sa Singapore, di ba? Sa Hong Kong. Na amazed pa ako noon ang galing naman sana meron din dito sa Pilipinas but now it reached the Philippines and may isang may isang may mga several tao na naman na, nawala sa possession na yon kasi um pinalitan na ng machine and that's the labor market ano what, what would the labor market want yung yung easier yung automated ano so there will come a time na baka yung trabaho natin pwede nang palitan ng machine ano may nakita tayong very famous na meme na 10 years ago um, yung helicopter at saka yung cameraman nasa taas taking a video and then now there's no need for that because we have drones right so ano yung nawala helicopter driver ng helicopter yung nawala ng trabaho saka yung um, cameraman right so hindi natin masasabi na we can keep our jobs forever so, yeah, no, challenging future. Another one, low savings and high debt. Sa mga kakilala ba natin, um, ilan sa kakilala natin yung mas marami yung savings kesa mas marami yung utang? No? So, um, mar baka, hindi, hindi ko alam, no? but only you can answer that. But we, we know for a fact that this is a challenge for many of us. No? And Mostly because yung community natin is um, parang ano na din, ginawang normal na yung utang. No? Um, even yung mga ads, di ba? Parang 0% um, interest rate kahit meron. And if you pay in cash, talagang lower talaga siya, di ba? So parang normal na yung utang. So um, bihira ka na lang makakamit ng tao na wala talagang utang. And so IMG, no, dati, siguro ako, kung wala din ako sa IMG, I have debts right now. And I'm proud to say that I, I have no debts also. And I have high savings because of IMG. And I, I highly credit that to the community. No, to the community of IMG because... Um, when you you belong to the community, you you are really encouraged to to build your savings. You are inspired by others, no? Because marami pa lang savers din. Akala ko pa pala utang lang di ba? When I was part of the workforce, talaga parang nako normal yung sabihan ka na umut ng ay magloan ka na sa SSS kasi baka nakawin lang yung savings mo don or something like that or baka may loan mag, may magloan para sa yo. Yun, ano? So, baka may makarelate dyan. <laughs> and then, pangatlo, we have high cost of education. So, according sa 
sa study, di ba, um, uh, you can research on this naman, no? yung, yung price ng education doubles every six years. So, sample, if you have a one-year-old right now, and say, for example, how much pa yung tuition fee ngayon sa college? Say, minimal lang, say, 20000 And after six years, your one-year-old is seven years old. So, nag-double yan, naging 40000 And then another six years, naging 80000 And another six years, naging nag-double. So, it's 160. So, by that time, I think magka-college na yung anak mo, dapat ready ka na with 160,000, di ba? And um, most of us, we grew up na dyan pa, you know, dyan pa kinukuha yung pang-college ng anak or natin um, kung malapit na tayong mag-college. No? So, dito sa IMG, tinuturo na, habang malayo pa, pwede, kahit pa unti-unti. And that's what I'm also doing right now. I have two kids and even yung isa, when when she was born and the other one meron na talaga silang nakalaan pa unti unti lang but we are sure na, na by the time na mag college sila more than millions na million na yung amount ano so they can choose whatever it is that they want for college na kurso or kung saan man nila gusto hindi na yung utang pa tayo or alam mo yun um, mag kung kung may trabaho diyan pa kukunin yung yung tawag nito, yung pang skwela. What if, ano na tayo niyan? Retired na. So, yung sa retirement money natin, yung kukunan natin, and later on, magiging burden na tayo sa kanila kasi para natin silang singilan. May mga scenarios kasi na ganyan, di ba? Yung, although, we don't, um, um, you know, we inadvertently do that kasi minsan lang, di ba? So, yung Filipino culture na um, nauobliga yung mga anak na magsuporta sa parents, pero pwede namang pag-ipunan pala ni parent, ano. But, yeah, we'll talk about more about that later on. And then number four is increasing cost of living. Now, very, alam naman, na, naman natin ito, ano, inflation. Yung 1,000 mo dati, five years ago, ilan na lang yung madadala or mabibit-bit sa 1,000 ngayon. And 6% din yung average na inflation rate ng Philippines, ano. So, biro mo yung, yung, yung 1000 mo 6% yung, kung inipon mo ngayon sa bangko ano after 5 years lugi ka pa di ba kasi syempre yung tubo sa bangko is less than 1% tapos yung inflation is 6% tapos may tax pa yung sa bangko ilan na lang yung value ng money mo ngayon di ba so anyway um yan pa lang ano parang pampapukaw pa lang kasi our mission is IMG is to create wealth for families and our crusade is really to to be the world's financial wake up call by the way our sister company is WFG and WSB in the US and Canada they're doing the same campaign you can google now we have this 30m by 30 financial literacy campaign and that means 30 million Filipinos by 2030 sa, sa US and sa Canada iba yung sa kanila of course sa Canada ang mga sa, sa kanila no but this is for the Philippines and today we have I extracted this count earlier today. We have this in the website. So we are now at 1.9, almost 2 million na tayo. Ano? So imagine. So may nabawas na na 2 million sa ating 30M by 2030. So by being in this class right now, you are part of this count na. So um, yes, please give your full name, your email, and then your mobile number to either Lai or Sheila so that they can register you here or you can put it in the chat room so that we can register you here. And um, you can also have a chance to win an iPad because every convention, major convention I mean, here or abroad, we have this raffle for the campaigner and the campaignee for, for an iPad. Ano, baka lang manalo kayo. And there's a Data Protection Act naman dito. IMG is very compliant sa government so um, hindi yan maano yung data nyo. Talagang solely for the campaign and the raffle lang yung data nyo. So congrats in advance because you're part now of the financially um, literate uh, Filipinos. And I hope that you are you would be able to share what you learned today also to your family, especially and your friends. All right, so start na tayo ng book study na then. So yung forward ng book is Gawani, sinulat ni Brother Bo Sanchez. Sabi niya, friend, this book is your ticket to upgrading your financial life. Read it, devour it, and share it with people who need a financial revolution in their life. Siya yung mismo yung sabi. So, baka hindi lang tayo. Ang dami nating kakilala, di ba? Na, na kailangan talaga matuto pa paano mag-manage ng pera, yung mga nasa scam, and marami pang iba. So, um, please share this. Ano? Share what you, you will be learning here tonight. And so, um, sabi din sa page 17 ng book natin, when it comes to securing and saving their future, many good people fail. Smart people fail, hardworking people fail, young people fail, old people fail, doctors, teachers, engineers. San ka na belong dito? 
right? Many end up retiring without enough savings. So kahit gaano kakabait, it's not a guarantee na magiging successful tayo financially. We know a lot of good people na naghihirap pa rin hanggang ngayon, but we know a lot of good people then na um, living an abundant life right now and they're able to help more, no? They are able to share their blessings to others. Smart people fail. Kahit gaano ka ba successful sabi ko kanina, no? Academically, um, professionally, pero marami pa rin yung nagsistruggle with money. Hard week working people, overtime ka ng overtime, pero bakit kulang pa rin? Kulang pa rin yung pera ko. Yung, minsan nga, di ba, tayo, freelancers, um, you know, I feel for you because um, before, ito din yung freelancer din ako, ano, before ako nag full-time ng IMG, so alam ko yung feeling talaga na alam mo yun, um, more than one job kukuha ka, or um, yun, para lang mas dumami yung kita mo, di ba? Eh, kasi kulang yung isa lang minsan ano so but alam ko sa team ninyo nila malaki yung kita so okay no okay. <laughs> and um young people fail the young generation the gen z the millennials pamilti milti lang yolo ng yolo diba so kulang din ng financial knowledge we also have to help them and actually you know what we have a great community of millennials of gen z right now who are investors and um savers so if you have a sibling or or anak no na baka millennial or gen z na you you let them come sa, sa IMG kasi we we have a community of young people din parang old na pala talaga ako no na talagang um, savers and investors na as early as hindi pa na graduate hanggang mga 20 plus marami dito and then old people fail you know so mga self employed kahit mga self employed so these people don't set out to fail they do because they failed to plan and manage their personal finances. And it says here, they lack financial education. All right, so sabi dito, sa libro, no? this, is all, this all came from the book. We can control our future. It's in our hands. It's in your hands. The future is in our hands. It's not in the hands of our bank, of the government. Yung iba CC ng CC sa government. And um, it's not in the hands of your employer, of your client. And so it's in our hands. Alright? So, um, yung dapat lang is alam natin kung paano magkaroon ng active income, which is very, I mean, expert na tayo dyan. Masisipag tayo mga Pinoy. Eh. Ka, minsan nga, kahit sa ating job, meron pa tayo mga side sideline ng mga job. Ano? So, minsan, like kayo, in pandemic, maraming nagbebenta ng tanim, ng fertilizers, ng mga bags, or what have you, di ba? So, madiskarte tayo given na yan na masipag talaga ang mga Pilipino and marunong kumita ng pera. What we need to work on is how to save money. And I have to say that talaga community lang yung kulang. Ano? And sabi pa nga, I'm not sure if you're familiar with, uh, with Jim Rohn, a philosopher, no? sabi niya na, you are an average of the five people that you spend most of your time with. So, if palagi mong kasama is mga gastador, so most likely, gastador ka din. Or mga chismosa, chismosa. So, baka chismosa, chismosa din tayo. Or palakain, kain ng kain. So, kain ka rin ng kain. No? But if you you have a group of people, you belong to a community na savers and investors, so most likely, saver and investor ka din. Magaling ka rin humawak ng pera. Okay? Now, after that, accumulate money. Paano ba yun? So, aside from saving, dapat alam din natin kung saan ilagay according to our goal, no? financial goals in life, mga dreams in life, kung saan ilalagay yung pera natin para um, tumubo siya exponentially. No? Hindi yung sa bank lang kasi alam natin yung bank is um, kukonti na lang yung interest rate ngayon. Dati, it's good kasi yung panahon ng lola natin, yung bank gives 10%, ganyan. 15% pa nga as high na interest. So if we put our money in the bank then, so kikita talaga tayo. But right now, if we put our, our money there, um, kulang talaga kung for future needs. Of course, the bank is good for emergency funds, but for like college fund ng mga anak natin, retirement natin, hindi, hindi talaga. May equation tayo dyan mamaya. So, Put it in vehicles na according to our goals, no? And then, of course, how to protect yung pinaghirapan natin na pera. So, it's in our hands. We just have to learn how to um, 
understand how to make money and of course let the money work for us so ito yung sabi dyan, be your own financial educator kasi ngayon active income earners tayo while we are earning active income dapat we set aside for passive income later on invest tayo ng invest para by the time na mag-retire tayo meron ng um, money working for us so kuha na lang tayo ng kuha sa investment natin so hindi na yung aasa pa tayo sa pamilya natin or aasa tayo sa gobyerno. Kita mo ngayon, di ba, maraming mga um, umaasa lang sa gobyerno. So, we can change that, right? By being a saver and investor kahit pa unti-unti lang, ano, para hindi natin inaasa lang sa gobyerno ang lahat and sinisisi lahat sa gobyerno. Okay? So, Again, active income tayo ngayon. While well, bata pa, invest tayo ng invest kasi dadating yung oras na magre-retiro tayo. Okay? So, punta na tayo ngayon sa mga financial concepts, key financial concepts that we need to learn and understand. So, your financial literacy journey starts here. Hindi pa pala nagsimula, ano? <laughs> so, ito yung una. Ano ba yung pangunang concept? So, the first concept that we're going to learn is the X-curve concept. So, hindi ito yung X na iniwan ka at sinaktan, ha? Ito yung X na pinaka-importanting X sa buhay natin. So, ano ba to? So, as you can see here, there's two lines, no? There are two lines. So, one is money line or the law on increasing wealth. Yung green, paakyat. And then, there's a red line that's going down or the uh, law of decreasing responsibility. As you can see here, nag-cross nag siya, kaya siya X ang tawag. Ano. So, baba, we can see here our timeline. Habang bata tayo, siguro bago tayo nagsimulang magtrabaho hanggang naging old tayo or tumanda tayo. So, this one theorizes na habang as we tread through life, no, Habang natatrabaho tayo, ganito dapat yung itsura ng curve ng buhay natin. Habang tumatagal, umaakit yung money line natin or yung savings natin while yung responsibility natin bumababa. Ganyan ba yung itsura ng, ng ating X-curve ngayon? Yung income, I mean yung savings ba natin, marami, tapos pababa na ba yung responsibilities natin? Responsibilities meaning may mga anak pa tayong pinapaaral, may mga... May mga utang pa tayo probably na binabayaran like mortgage sa bahay or um, sasakyan or ano pa, marami pang mga responsibilities. Kain natin everyday, you know, mga responsibilities. So dito na makikita natin na while bata pa tayo, yung money line talaga natin is mababa pa kasi hindi pa, mahirap pa tayong mag-save kasi baka bago pa tayong nagsimula ng family or nagsusupport pa sa family. So yung goal natin is habang tumatagal, dapat dumadami yung savings natin and automatically our responsibility will go down. Pagtanda natin, dapat malaki na yung savings natin. Tapos wala na tayong responsibility kasi yung mga anak natin tapos na magtrabaho. I mean, tapos na mag, mag-skwela, right? And yung responsibility mo na lang is yourself. Dapat marami kang savings or, in, or investment so that you can stop working na kasi wala ka ng responsibility and you can have money working for you na. Alright? So, may mga scenarios tayo na pwedeng mangyari. What if... Um, konti pa yung savings ko tapos malaki pa yung responsibility ko and may mangyari sa akin kunin ako ni Lord ng maaga so yung solution of course is life insurance life insurance is instant money siya yung sasalo sa responsibilities mo so merong proper calculation din dito ano we have a, a special class talaga for this so how to calculate yung insurance mo, magkano yung kailangan mo, and yung types of insurances. So, meron lang ito no later on. Oh, hindi natin discuss dito, but if you want a, a class, you can just join the class natin or my workshop tayo sa ating portal sa IMG, okay? So, again, solution is life insurance. If konti pa yung savings, malaki pa yung responsibility. But if you're single and of course, you don't have any responsibility, you don't need life insurance. But if you, you are you're the breadwinner, you're the money machine of the family, of course, you need life insurance. All right? I think um, lahat naman tayo naiintindihan nito. Ano? Kaya nga, um, you know, nakikita natin sa mga drama, sa pelikula, ano, na may mga bata na mayaman, biglang hirap kasi walang iniwan sa kanila and yung lifestyle hindi na na-maintain. Ano? Or mahirap, um, lalong naghirap, but may mga kakilala tayo na um, may insurance, believer ng insurance, pagkawala ng breadwinner, naging masagana yung buhay nila kasi si breadwinner, believer ng insurance and, you know, sabi pa nga, if you really love your family, put it in writing. Yung iniisip mo pa rin sila kahit wala ka na sa mundo, 
So, yan yung iniwan mong legacy sa kanila. Diba? Yung iba naman, yung isip is, hindi ko naman maka papakinabangan yan, mamamatay lang ako. Parang selfish yun, di ba? So, yun, ano? And of course, what if we live too long? What if may lahi tayo na mahaba ang buhay or i-grant talaga tayo ni Lord ng mahabang buhay? So, yung challenge naman yan is if we live too long and we outlive our retirement. So, wala na tayong pera. Kaya nga, dapat malaki na yung savings natin, investments na where we na-mention ko kanina, living on interest na lang tayo. Kuha ng ku- kuha na lang tayo sa ating investment, yung tubo. And then, until na, kasi, di ba, sample, if we retire at, say, 60, or ako, I want to retire at oh, 45. Diba, kinalculate ko na yan. So, right now, actually, right now, I feel like I'm retired na nga kasi I, I don't feel, um ano na, I don't feel like this is work. So, yun na, no? And, um, but anyway, no? So, After 50 or 60, you live pa rin, di ba? Baka mga 20 to 30 years. And we're not working na by then. And would you still want to work na 60 ka pa? And ano mangyayari? Aasa ba tayo? Kung wala tayong savings for retirement, aasa tayo sa pamilya or dapat may savings tayo? So we'd rather be a blessing, right? So dapat malaki na yung savings natin dito. We'll um, tackle the how to save the right way later on na lang. Ano? So yan yung first concept which is the X curve. X curve concept, okay? And yung pangalawa is the rule of 72. Now, this is the concept talaga na striking sa akin no, when I first attended the, the class of IMG. And this is what we also call the power of compounding interest. And would you believe, ano, nasabi pa ni Einstein, Albert Einstein, na pow- the power of compounding interest is man's greatest invention. Sabi pa niya, it's the eighth wonder of the world. Sabi niya, he who understands it, earns it. And he who doesn't, pays for it. Understands, meaning nag invest na invest, so nag earn Doesn't, meaning utang ng utang, pays ng interest. So it's double, double-edged double sword siya, no? so money working for us and against us. Kasi yung utang, it's pulling us down. Um, investments pulling us up. The problem is kung mas maraming utang, malaking interest, konting savings. So, babaguhin natin yan. So, may formula dito, ano, ang tinatawag natin na rule of 72, which is 72, the constant number, divided by the rate of interest, or ROI, equals to the number of years it will take, take for your money to double. So, mag-try tayo mag-calculate, alright? So, um, I wanna ask sa atin dito sa class, saan ba natin nilalagay yung savings natin ngayon? Can you please chat kung saan natin nilalagay? Nilalagay ba natin sa ilalim ng unan, sa cabinet, sa bangko, sa co-op, or where do you put it? Say, for example, savings for anything, basta savings lang. And we'll try to calculate it. Sa bank and co-op, How about the others? I have bank. Oh, MP MP2 is good. Co-op, bank, co-op. Okay. So right, no? So that's great. So um okay, so good ano. So example natin sa bank na lang ano. So pangalawang question, how much yung interest rate sa bank? Na nilalagay natin sa statement of account natin. Magkano yung nakalagay na interest rate? Huwag na lang natin isama yung tax. <laughs> yung interest rate lang nang nilalagyan natin. 1%? Okay. That's uh, Ms. Sheila's answer. How about the others? Say, mga traditional banks, 1.2 annually. Sabi ni Ma'am Pei, wala, baka hindi, yung iba, wala na, no? <laughs> Yan ang kikinig. Sorry, baka nakatulong na. <laughs> So, yeah. okay, so we can have um, 1%, okay? So, sabihin natin na 1%, but let's double check, ano? Because as far as I know, the traditional banks right now, the, the the banks where we put our money right now, like BPI, Metro Bank, um, Union Bank, uh, BDO, and what have you, no? So, yung mga interest rate talaga ng savings or deposit is less than 1%, like 0.5, 0.25, 0.15, even as low as 0.10%. Sinerge ko pa, 1.25. Rosie sabi 1.25. All right, so sabihin na lang natin na 1% siya. All right, so 72 divided by 1. Dali ano, so 72. So for example, I am, sabi natin, 20 years old ako ngayon and I have 
10,000 pesos. I put it in the bank. So, 72 divided by 1. After 72 years, magdo-double yung pera ko. So, I'm around 92 years old na magiging 20,000 pa siya. Wala pa yung tax, ha? So, kailan magdo-double nga? After 72 years, if I put it in the bank. And say, for example, that's for my retirement or for the college fund of my kids. So, kaya ba? <laughs> kaya bang maghintay hanggang, hanggang tawag ito? Um... Uh, 92 years old and mm, 35 na ako. Hindi ko na lang sinabing 35 kasi 100 plus na ako yun. Patay na ako nun. <laughs> diba? But anyway, no? so that's just an example. And alam natin na, uh, you know, what's happening right now is um, dadating talaga yung time na wala ng interest yung banko and pag ghost tayo na yung magbabayad sa banko if we put our money there. It's happening in Canada, in Japan, in the Europe. No? In Europe, no? So when you put money, ikaw pa yung magbabayad ng interest. Kasi, of course, you're using their service. So, so ngayon, no, paunti-unti, 0.10, 0.15, ganyan na yung interest rate natin sa Pilipinas. So, hindi na natin maasahan yung banko for savings or investments. Ano? For emergency funds, of course, yes, ako, emergency funds ko, nasa banko talaga, but for long-term goals, wala, wala talaga sa banko. So, ito, no, so ito yung what if Legal investments, of course. What if you know of an investment interest that gives 4%? So, gamitin natin yung formula. 72 divided by 4 is equals to 18 years. So, money doubles every 18 years. So, for example, I'm 20 years old right now. And I have 100,000. So, after 18 years, magdodoble yung pera ko. Another 18 years because it's compounding, magiging 400,000. So, without doing anything, because I put it in an in, uh, investment vehicle that gives um, 4%, Every 18 years, nagdo-double siya. And meron akong 400,000 by the time na nag-56 ako. Sabihin na natin dito ko gusto mag-retire. Right? So, better, di ba, than 1%. But mind you guys, ang investing ngayon is initial is as low as 1,000 pesos. And anytime pwedeng mag-add as low as 500 pesos. So, pwedeng-pwede sa IMG nakikita mo, may inspire ka talaga kahit security guard, kahit vendors, they are investing. Mas, mas nalupigan pa ang you know, mga, mga professionals na baon sa utang tuloy, ano, naghihirap na mag-start, mag-save, ano. Kasi mas may access sa utang kasi yung mga middle class. So, kawawa, no? hindi natin yan nakikita na re reality minsan. So, okay, let's proceed. So, um, what if naman we know of an investment vehicle that gives 8%? So, 72 divided by 8 is better. 9 na lang, 9 years. So, again, I have the same example. 20 years old, my 100,000. And so, after 9 years, naging 200. Another 9 years, 400. So, on and so forth, 1.6. So, substantial yung difference. It's 1.2 million. I didn't do anything. Both both of this didn't do anything, but it, they put it in a different investment vehicle that gives um, better return yung isa. Now, what if 12%, ito yung ating average sa ating like uh, sa stocks, sa mutual funds, na equities, ano? These are legal investments as well. So, ito yung mga sikreto ng mga mayayaman, ano? Dito lang nilalag nilalagay yung pera nila, kuha lang sila ng interest, tutubo na naman yung pera, di ba? So, yun yung hindi alam ng karamihan. So, so, 20 years old ako, I have 100,000. So, better ito kasi 6 years lang magdo-double, di ba? Kasi 70 to divide it by 12, 6 years. So, after 6 years, 200. Another 6 years, 32 pa ako niyan, 400. So, on and so forth. Pag 56, same age dito, 6.4 million. Ang layo ng difference, right? Times 4 dito, times 16 dito. So, saan ka maglalagay, ano? Saan ka maglalagay kung gusto mo, di ba? So, tanong, again, saan yung pera natin ngayon? Naandito ba? Yung MP2 is good. Naandito siya in between 4% and 8%. 7 or 8% ng atay ngayon yung MP2. Really good yung MP2 ngayon. Alright, so, ayun. So, sige, let's proceed na. But, uh, it's, let's assess lang ano assignment natin. So, saan natin ilalagay yung mga for long-term goals natin. Alright, now let's move on to our third concept. Ito pinaka-importante talaga ito. And I'll discuss later din naman ano why. So, glimpse lang, solid financial foundation. Just like building a house, we always start from the ground up, right? When we build a structure, you can ask an engineer, ano ba yung inuuna natin? Hindi naman yung atep, ano? Atep is the investment. So, inuuna natin yung foundation. So, yung itsura ng any structure, ng bahay natin, financial house natin, dapat ganito. We start from the ground up. 
We start with healthcare, then protection, then we eliminate our debts or manage our debts, then we we um, we save for our emergency funds, and then last na yung mag-invest tayo. Pero baka marami yung nandito sa class, ano, kasi very interested ng investments. Very attracted tayo sa investment. And sometimes, solid investments, just like, of course, properties, house, lot, um, jewelries, uh, what else? Uh, um, ano pang mga solid um, car, mga ganun, ano. So, dyan tayo um, attracted. Meron din namang mga liquid like stocks, mutual funds, ayun, ano. So, tayo attracted tayo dyan without realizing na minsan wala tayong emergency fund. So, kung may mangyaring emergency, anong nangyayari sa investment? So, yung property mo na bibenta mo, kung investment nga, dapat lalaki yung value, tuloy na bibenta mo at a lower cost kasi nga, emergency or yung business mo i sa sacrifice mo na lang yung business mo kasi may emergency right yung jewelry mo pinon mo kasi emergency so dapat pala meron mo ng emergency funds before mag-invest lalong lalo dapat tulang utang or ma-manage talaga yung debts before may emergency funds ano kasi kung walang emergency funds diyan tayo nagkaka emergency loan di ba may dumating na bagyo, nasira yung bahay, wala tayong emergency fund, nag-emergency loan. Nag-pandemic, wala tayong emergency fund, nawalan ng trabaho, nag-emergency loan. Yung iba, ginawang investment yung mga bag nila, yung mga, tawag nito, yung mga bags, yung mga ano pang material stuff. Ngayon na may pandemic, binibenta na yung mga bag, mga ano, for in exchange for groceries, you'd see that sa mga ano yun, barter ngayon, di ba? May mga barter-barter. Na, natapos na nga ata yung, yung era na yun. I mean, di ba? May nagbabarter for groceries kasi walang emergency fund. Yun, ano? So, hindi natin minsan yan na-realize. And, and then, dito, dapat may protection, of course, because ito importante talaga. No? Kasi hindi natin alam kung kailan tayo kukunin ni Lord. So, we better prepare for it, di ba? And, of course, healthcare. So, if you're a breadwinner, again, protection kasi income replacement yan. And of course, healthcare, bakit nasa foundation talaga yung healthcare? Why do you think? Ano? So, common bankruptcy ng any, any family actually all over the world, world is kung may magkasakit sa pamilya. Right? Isang sakit lang yan. Wipe out lahat ng savings. Isang sakit nagkakautang. Tapos kung mamatay pa, yung iniiwang ano, pamana, utang. Kawawa, yung pamilya. Tapos, ayun, ut yun nga, <laughs> utang, kung walang protest. So, ano no, um, kailangan na kailangan yung healthcare. Malam marami tayong kakilala na um, pagpasok sa ospital, mayaman. Pag out, mahirap na. Okay, so unang-una talaga siya. Now, let's discuss this one by one. Unahin na lang natin yung favorite natin, which is investment. And yeah, before tala pala tayo mag-proceed dyan, ano, ito yung i-assess natin. Let's have a financial checkup ano, sa sarili natin. Hindi na kasi naman secret itong financial foundation na sa harap mismo siya ng ating libro. So, i-assess natin, may healthcare na ba ako? May protection na ba ako? Breadwinner ako? Kailangan ko? May protection? Na-manage ko na ba yung mga utang ko? Am I doing my best para ma-eliminate yung mga utang ko? May emergency fund na ba yung kami, buong pamilya, may investment na ba? So, ito yung tanong natin ngayon, na-assignment natin ano, before tayo matulog. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we can discuss this later on naman din naman. Ano, uh, you can ask me anytime. So, na, okay, so let's move on to the different investment vehicles. So, do you know about the stock market and mutual funds? Baka may mga investors na tayo dito. Ano? I know, um, uh, Lai and uh, Michelle had been uh, investing consistently and um, his life partner, no, si Sir Si Sir Gian. So, very good kaayo. So, um, investments. Ano ba yung investments? So, sabi dito, investment, it allows you to earn what the wealthy are earning. It's the ownership of shares like SM, San Miguel, Mega World, Jollibee, BDO. So, we have options. Well, folk may sinasabi tayo na tangible or um, solid investments like bahay, lupa. Because what we recommend here in IMG is bago ka mag-tangible or solid investments, you must have liquid investments first. Emergency, Anong gagawin mo sa sol? Ibibenta mo pag emergency palagi yan. Um, lower cost na yan palagi yan. No? So, kaya dapat may liquid bago mag may solid. Or sabay, ano, para both. May, may, may focus tayo sa stocks and mutual funds. So, tayo dito sa IMG, and you have two choices. So, sa stocks directly or mutual funds. And um, I'll just give you a scenario. Ano? If, you want, if you wanna go to the US, anong sasakyan mo? Sasakay tayo ng aeroplano, right? So, 
kung stock market, no, pero ikaw yung magpipiloto. So, mag-aaral ka muna. May, dapat may malaking pera ka kasi mag-enroll ka para mag-aaral, magpiloto. And of course, it would take time for you to learn the skill. Stock, ha? Stock market investing. Now, we also have mutual funds. Mutual funds is like, pumunta ka rin ng US, pero pasahero ka. So, sasabay ka lang sa piloto, sasabay ka sa ibang pasahero, pero dadating ka pa rin sa destination mo, which is sa US. Right? You can do both. In IMG, you can do direct investing. You can also do indirect, which is mutual funds. But what we highly suggest is if you're, sample, you're a big fur, tax-free by law, and um, redemption also is, is madali lang. And also, especially if nag-work pa tayo, kasi of course, if we do direct investing, we need more time. Kasi dapat tutok tayo from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And um, we have, mas malaki yung pang trade mo na pera. So, ayun, ano, but here sa IMG, yung dito kami, no, lumaki lang, lumago yung pera namin. Even the mentors, no, kasi I look up to them and it's them that I follow. Naging multi-millionaires naman sila by investing lang in, clean lang yung behavior natin. Hindi kailangan yung malaking pera, kahit pa unti-unti, but may, may disiplina ka, talagang lalago yung pera mo. Yan din yung nangyari sa akin, no? Um, dahil sa community, pa unti Yun, but matutuwa kayo, later on siguro marirealize nyo dyan, then, and you'll really thank Lai and Sheila for inviting you here of this knowledge that you have learned. Now, do you know about emergency funds? So it says here, three to six months of your monthly income should be saved in the bank. So sa bank ano, pwede din naman sa bahay pero baka masunog kung bahay or baka nakawin, di ba? So sa bank kasi secure, may PD. I see, di ba? Secure chat to 500,000. So save natin sa bank yung ating emergency funds at baka nga ngayon hindi enough yung 3 to 6 months lang, baka more pa, no? Kulang pa yung 3 to 6 months. Tingnan niyo yung pandemic, di ba? Parang 6 months na ngayon. So marami sa ating mga kakilala na wala ng trabaho or you know na no work, no pay. So, um, if you know one, you, you, you invite them sa IMG. Ngayon sa IMG, um, pandemic na pandemic, pero record-breaking yung ano namin, yung, yung aming production. Ano? Um, because people are realizing how important it is that we're teaching. Right? And then, um, eliminate that. So, in that elimination, maraming strategies. Ano? So, if you want to eliminate that, that's my special class din tayo dito. Na. So, may mga yung life insurance, itong mga lahat, meron talagang specific classes for these. Ano? So, learn the strategies and eliminating that's like snowball effect, that roll up, and so attend a workshop. So, um, I think that was two weeks ago, meron kaming ano talaga, class on eliminating that. So, I think si Michelle naka-attend siguro. And so, kung baka may another ano pa tayo, run, we'll let you know lang ano para maka-attend din kayo. And then, you know about life insurance. So, again, if you really, really love your family, you protect them. Because it will take care of them if we die too soon, right? So, ayan, I hope na, um, na understand lang itong importance ng life insurance. Ano? Uh, meron din tayong separate class dito. Just let us know so that we can give you a link for a copy of the class. Or we can let you in sa aming portal. Do you know about healthcare? So, ito talaga yung nasa dulo. Now, we won't confuse this too. Ah, kasi may, meron may nagsasabi minsan sa atin na, Nako, Miss Hair, may ano na ako, may life, eh, may tawag nila dun, um, health insurance na ako. Pero yung binabanggit nilang health insurance is yung rider dito sa kanilang life insurance, which is critical illness or income, hospital income. So that's different, ano? Kasi yung healthcare is HMO talaga. When you go to the hospital, the the hospital will ask you, my life, hindi na siya, hindi siya mag ask na, my life insurance ka ba? Yung i ask niya is, may HMO ka ba? So, dapat may healthcare ka. So, hindi mag ask ng down payment and paglabas mo ng, ng hospital, of course, yung pag-checkout mo, as long as covered ng healthcare mo, hindi ka hihinga ng bill. Ano? I mean, sila na yung magka-cover. Yung life insurance, yung rider mo doon na critical illness, for example, magsakit, sumakit yung ulo mo and punta ka ng hospital, kailangan pa yan maging tumor talaga yung sakit mo para para ma-covered lang. So, gusto mo ba na ganun? <laughs> what if yung sakit mo is, ano lang, hindi siya ganun, kagrabe, ano? So, ano yan, um, may ka kasi may specific list lang yan sa critical illness. So, what if yung cost ng illness mo hindi talaga critical? So, sayang pinag-iipunan mo, di ba? So, ayun, ano? So, um, let's, now let's focus on healthcare since ito yung pinaka-importante, no? And I think uh, most of you are here because of this. So, types of healthcare, we have short-term, we have senior care, and we have long-term care. So, ano short-term? So, by the name itself, it's short-term, no? So, gaya ng 
um, healthcare natin, sa pinagtrabahuan natin dati, siguro if we worked in a corporate, uh, may free sa company na short-term care like in telecare, maxi-care, medicare. I have, I had one before and I got hospitalized and my bill was around 100,000 plus and I didn't pay a thing because I had in telecare. Um, Kumpara nung, nung college ako, nagkasakit ako and we didn't have healthcare you, kasi yung parents ko hindi pa naman sila aware. Ano, so I can blame them too. So yung nangyari sa amin nun, talaga yung, yung parents ko na bankrupt kasi yung bill ko din nun sa hospital was 100,000 plus and we didn't have enough savings to cover that. So yung, mga, yung parents ko nangutang pa. So nakita ko talaga yung difference. No? Sakita na ako, kaya nga ano talaga ako, believer talaga ako ng healthcare. No? So yung nangyari noon, um nakautang yung parents ko, nakita ko yung contrast ng my healthcare at wala. And so that yung re realization ko no, after ko nag-work ng corporate, so wala na yung IntelliCare ko. Doon na ako nag-worry talaga na what if may magkasakit ako and ano ba yung magbibigay na ba naman ako ng problema sa family ko? What if kulang yung savings ko? Kaya ako napunta din dito sa IMG. You know? So, yan yung mga short term. Again, minsan yung free. Yung feel health din is short term. If you don't, if you stop paying for it, you won't avail it. Hindi mo siya ma-avail sa hospital. And then, senior care naman is for those na 61 years old up to 100 years old. Now, ito siya is pricey na because mag apply ka, senior ka na. And, um, reimbursement type na siya, meaning ikaw muna yung magbabayad sa hospital and by participation ka na, which is 10% ang iyo and then 90% yung sa healthcare company. Nahirap kung dito ka na mag-apply kasi what if may mga pre-existing na sakit na tayo, so baka hindi tayo ma-approve. Kaya we advocate on this one, the long-term care. So this is also called the HSA or Health Savings Account sa US and Canada and sa other progressive countries like Japan. If you would notice yung retirees nila, um, di ba? Um, they they can afford they can afford um, costly na mga surgeries they can afford caretaker bakit hindi yun dahil lang sa government no? they they saved for it early on so may may nilalaan talaga sila na savings for the healthcare mismo hindi lang for retirement ano sa so, yan yung kulang dito sa Philippines dati ano and that's what um what um, this one has solved, but Kaiser has solved and also. Ito talaga ibibida ko, no? <laughs> Kasi ito yung nag-solve sa aking mga problema. So, ito, so, what we recommend for starters is something that can solve the three major financial needs ng bawat Pilipino. So, naalala nyo yung solid financial foundation, right? So, we always start from healthcare, protection, up to investments. So, if you have long-term care, like HSA, you have already healthcare, you have protection and you have investments. So two questions can be answered. What if I die too soon? We have protection. What if I live too long? I have health care and investments. Kasi di ba yung sakit, minsan lumalabas siya pag matanda na tayo. And usually, mga costly na yan ang mga sakit. Right? And um, the good thing about this product is if hindi mo siya nagagamit, invested lang siya hindi siya mawawala. Unlike sa um, short term, if hindi mo siya magamit this year, thank you na siya. May mga funny encounters nga ako while working pa no, sa corporate dati kasi, di ba, may free na tayo nga, na healthcare and minsan sabi pa ng isang katrabaho ko, naku, sayang, hindi ako nagkasakit, hindi ko nagamit yung healthcare ko. Baliktad, ano, nag-wish pa siya na magkasakit tuloy siya para magamit niya yung healthcare niya. So, dito sa IMG, I mean, sa Kaiser, they reward you if you don't get sick. So for for the saving period, I'll discuss it later on. Na naman, no? um, hindi hindi mo siya magamit. Balik sa you eighty five percent of your premium aside sa tubo ng pera mo. So discuss tayo about yan. No? So we call it the Kaiser Three in One Savings Program. We have long term care, we have life insurance and investment in it. No? So we have a sample plan here. No, this is what Lai has also and Miss Sheila. It's K one hundred plan, and they are saving um, monthly. It's five hundred eighty. Uh, 5,882 and um, if it's annual, it's 58,821. Notice na if it's annualized, you save you save two months of installment, right? So or premium, right? So that's why ako nag annual din ako para hindi hindi siya. I mean, you know, hindi makasave kahit two months. Ano 
di ba? Savings na yan, pwede na yung ilagay sa mutual funds. So, yung contract price niya is 411. After save seven years, meron na siyang, ano, yung nalagay niya is 411,000. But guys, hindi, ito lang yung common na kinukuha, ano, but we have lower than this, we have higher than this, actually up to K1 million. So, yung lowest nito is 2647 monthly. But of course, kung ikaw mismo, di ba, gusto mong mag-save, ayaw mo naman sigurong tipirin yung sarili mo. So, depende din sa goals natin. But um, if you need if you need like if you need extra money there's a solution for that later on we'll discuss but focus tayo dito no so yung kaiser 3 in 1 is you save for 7 years and then after 7 years you stop saving kahit gusto mo pang mag-save <laughs> so bibigyan ka na ng certificate of full payment and kaiser visa card kasi you can use it naman yung fund you can use it kahit nasa labas ka ng bansa so you, they just put the fund there and then the 20th year is the way this the maturity period you know or after 20 years so that means after saving for seven years my waiting period dito and then 20th year magma mature where uh, makukuha mo na yung savings mo at saka tubo niya so this is an option or pwede ding iwan lang muna at palaguin depende sa iyo no but we'll give an example later on now during the accumulation period, one year to seventh year, eting benefits niya, no? So, number one, we have annual physical exam na benefit. So, this is after ka makapay ng one year, no? Kung annual, so magamit mo agad. Kung monthly, so one year ma ma matapos ka. So, ano to yung fecalysis, um, urinalysis, CBC, chest x-ray, um, exam ng doctor. So, yung normal na pag 35 up, merong pap smear for the um, female, ano. So, yan. And then dental, like oral prophylaxis, simple pasta, and simple extraction. And then choice of room and, and board kung magkasakit. Ma-hospital, ano. So, you, may limit dito na 60,000 per year. And if hindi mo magamit, again, hindi yan mawawala kasi yung pera mo dito kasi nauipon naman yan. Basic medical health benefits like sa anesthesiologist, yung mga ganyan surgeon. And then, i-feature ko, ito yung parang bilib talaga ako na feature ano, ng product na ito, which is um, waiver of installment due to death or credit life. And then, waiver of installment and premiums due to total and per permanent disability. Kasi naka-witness talaga ako ng oh. team ko na who passed away ano, last year and very young pa. She's from Tacloban, ano, and she's just 27 years old and has two kids and taking up law and working in DPWH now. Ano yung cause ng death niya? Dengue. She succumbed to dengue. No? So what happened? She passed away. Yung beneficiary niya, nakalagay sa primary beneficiary niya is yung husband niya. By the way, guys, no, so seven years siya dapat mag-save. Ano? Yung nangyari, kasi nag-join nag and save siya sa IMG two years ago lang. It was just her 11th month pa nang pagsisave niya ng Kaiser. Hindi pa siya nag-one year. Hindi pa siya umabot ng seven years. So, waived yung installment na pasa sa husband niya considered paid in full. So, si husband na yung makakovered ng HMO and makakareceive din ng lump sum dito by the 20th year. And that is aside sa life insurance na nakuha nila. May term life din. So, um, ang gan yung na timing din yun na namatay si, si Chona noon, summer, and magpapasukan na June, no? So, of course, um, magpaproblema na sa pang tuition. So, yung life insurance talaga na na-receive na nila, no? yung check, eh, na nagamit talaga. No? And I was a witness, I was there when um, the husband signed for the transfer of the policy. So, hindi siya mawawala, matatransfer sa beneficiary. You know? So, ang galing-galing talaga. Nakita ko na ganito siya katala, talaga katulong sa bawat pamilya. No? So, imagine nyo, ngayon siya, it can answer what, yung nangyari dito, what if I die too soon na scenario. So, she died too soon, may life insurance na naiwan, na transfer pa. Wala ito sa mga, na feature sa mga life insurance kasi kung mamatay, you, si, ano, si policy holder, life insurance lang talaga yung receive ng, ano, ng family. Hindi matatransfer yung plan. 
So, ito siya is nata-transfer. And then, yun, may term insurance na ma-receive yung family. And if yung cost ng death is accident, double siya. So, for example, ito, instead ng 450 lang, merong 900,000. May kilala din ako who died. Um, double talaga yung nakuha and transferred din yung plan sa mga beneficiary. And may family assistance, option lang to in case um, walang-wala talaga yung family and kailangan ma-admit sa hospital, we can hang you, we can ask Kaiser para ma-admit, hindi na kailangan ng deposit. But of course, ikaw pa din magsisettle kasi um, hindi naman talaga ito siya for um, um, I mean, feature lang siya, hindi siya para talaga sa buong family. Ano. So, maganda if buong pamilya, saver talaga ng Kaiser para pag-retire natin, lahat tayo happy, lahat tayo may fund. Ano. Kasi kung sila hindi magsisave, sa'yo din yan lalapit later on. Diba? At baka sabihan ka pa, hindi mo sila sinabihan na may Kaiser pala, may IMG pala, sabihan ka nila, ba't di mo ako sinabihan yan? Ngayon, wala akong savings. <laughs> diba? So, ganun. And then, so you know, after seven years, we stop saving. ano mangyayari? Gusto, ang mangyayari niyan, gusto mo pang mag-save. Pero ayun, but yeah, most of us here get another plan. No? So, yan. So, after seven years, yung pera mo, maglalago na. Lago na ng lago. So, meron tayong mga benefits dito. Ano? So, meron ng 10% annual health benefit. May outpatient benefit na tayo. Kung ma-hospital, pwede na outpatient. Pwede na ding inpatient. Pwede kahit maternity. Kung mga anak tayo, covered na din ang mga pre-existing, mga dreaded illness diseases. And then, may additional health benefit, merong long-term care benefit, merong long-term care bonus. So, kung i-calculate mo ito, kung titingnan mo after 20 years, yung 411,000 mo naging 1.1 million na wala kang ginawa. Right? So, um, it's one way of, of course, saving. Uh, I think this is the best way to save for your long-term care kasi may mga ma-answer din na mga solution, I mean, na mga problems dito while we save for our long-term care. The purpose talaga, I think the strength of this plan or um, product is para pagtanda natin. Kasi look at the society right now, the common problem ng mga matatanda is wala silang healthcare fund. So yung nangyayari, yung retirement fund nila, minsan um, like yung pension, kulang pa for medication. And um, minsan may retirement fund, you know, ubus lang for sickness. So dapat talaga separate yung healthcare fund mo sa retirement fund mo. So ayun ano so what if ito si ito siya na nag-save since 22 years old pa siya nag-save pag 42 niya hindi pa niya to kailangan sample IMG member siya and like us he's also earning um weekly income so may, may pera pa siya and nagsi-save talaga siya sa mutual funds um marami siyang sources so hindi pa niya to kailangan so sige iwan ko lang muna yan para mas malaki yung fund ko pag tanda ko talaga kung kailan ko kailangan na yan kung magkasakit ako so iniwan niya pinatubo lang muna niya pagdating niya ng 60 meron na siyang 6.4 million without doing anything again because again money compounds this money is invested sa mutual funds mainly sa soldivo mutual funds so walang ginawa ano 6.4 now pag 65 niya 10.4 million tingin niyo malaki na to tingin ko maliit na to <laughs> imagine 30 years from now ano na lang value ng 1 million ngayon yung cost ng Ano yun, angioplasty yung sa heart is 1 million already. If magkaganyan tayo ngayon, sa natin kukunin yung funds. Kung wala tayong like long-term care, mangungutang na naman ba tayo, ganyan. Diba? So ay ayoko na, nakita ko kasi yun sa family ko din, ano, ayoko na ma-repeat yung cycle sa lola ko na nangyari na 30 na magkapatid sila mama, sila mama pero nahirapan pa rin sila na masave talaga yung lola ko kasi kadalasan, it's not the lack of money. I mean, Yung the lack of hospitals or good hospitals talaga na makakapag-save sa tao. No? Minsan yung lack of pera kasi mahal. Mahal magpagamot. Nahal yung sickness ng matatanda. So, ayoko nang ganun. Ayoko nang pagtanda ko, burden ako sa family ko. Of course, they'd love to help. But when you're already old, instead of, you know, being helped, you'd rather be a blessing. Kasi, sampo yung mga anak mo, may mga pamilya na yan eh. Um, may mga bata na yan na sa supportaan. So, it's like, if they're supporting you, it's like um, stealing money from your grandkids. Kasi yung pera na ibibigay nila sa'yo, 
pwede na sana yun para sa pagpaaral, sa dreams ng mga anak nila, right? So I don't want to come to that point. And I think many of us would want that too, but sometimes we just lack the the knowledge and we lack the information, we lack the vehicle to do that. So this is it, no? So um, I hope that uh, ma-realize nyo din ito, ano? And um, keep on joining the classes din, dan, din lang kasi marami pa tayong mga classes. All right, and so yes, that that's it. So be part of our community. Uh, what actions should you take? Sabi pa ni Brother Bo Sanchez, um, knowledge without action is just like entertainment. So you take action. So para meron kang magawa talaga ano. So ito din yung ginawa ko dati ano. So anong ginawa ko nagpa member ako sa IMG you know? So there's a basic membership of six thousand with fidelity. So fidelity discuss ko mamaya. So ano lang ba yung value ng six thousand? Minsan pang eat out lang natin ito or pang lechon or <laughs> ano pa pang bili ng sint ng the myth, diba? So this is 6,000 that can already help you lifetime. So what what is inclusive in this? So lifetime enrollment to financial education classes. And sino yung nagtuturo dito? Sila Rex Mendoza. Rex Mendoza is the our mentor in investment. No, is the advisor of Ayala. Is the advisor of the biggest institu institutions here. No, so um, that's our mentor. So imagine yun mga billionaires na, and that's free for a lifetime and free financial checkup. So of course, tayo kung hindi lang naman kung titingnan nyo yung mga Pilipino mas marami yung may masak may sakit sa bulsa kaysa may masamang pakiramdam talaga no so financial checkup if walang pera anong gagawin we can approach a mentor if maraming pera anong gagawin para ma sustain para ma protect ano so it's good if you are in the community and then if you are a member with basic membership meron ng 100,000 of personal accident insurance meron ng 50,000 na memorial benefits it's like St. Peter um, but this one you just pay 500 kasi yung membership is 55 and then your fidelity is 500 pesos fidelity is just an option but we highly suggest it dun sa mga wala pang memorial. Um, compare mo siya sa St. Peter, murang-mura lang kasi 500 lang one time. Alright? So, kami talaga, ako, kumuha talaga ako nito the, the moment na in-open ito no, as a benefit. And then, free eye checkup and frame. So, yearly, we have two frames na free sa De Reyes Optical. We have that in the SM. So, meron din sa Manila. Sa SM stores, we have here De Reyes Optical. We can go there and just um, give them our code and then they let you choose the frames and of course, have the eye checkup for free. So, yung mama ko, favorite ito na benefit. Remember din yung mama ko, Kasi, of, gusto, alam, pag tumatandaan na, gusto nila nagpapalit palagi ng salamin para updated. Tsaka kasi di ba madali nang mag-change yung grado nila. So, yung babayaran mo lang is yung lens kasi yung lens naman yung nagvavary. Yung frame, mas mahal minsan, yun pa yung free. Uh, like ito, yung kinuha ko, it, nung kinuha ko ito, it should be 4-5. Um, lens, ano tawag dito? Anti-rad lang naman ito. But I paid 1-5 only. So you know, and then unlimited health checkup. So kahit every day po kayo magpa check up <laughs> sa mga Kaiser clinics naman ito, which medical centers, which is nasa SM. Then um, for here in Cebu, we have them in SM. Um, Mabola and SMC side. Um, meron din ito sa SM North Edsa and everywhere else. Kaiser is the um, um, healthcare of Senate, Congress, ng um, Supreme Court, uh, ng marami ba ni Sharon Coneta. So. Um, and accredited siya to more than 2,000 hospitals all across the country. So, lagang, walang problema kung availing yung ano. So far, sa claims, wala naman akong na-encounter na problems. Na. And then, online mutual fund account with 1,000 initial investment. So, ito yung favorite ngayon. Actually, marami nagpapamember ngayon, ngayon dahil lang dito. Kasi, di ba nga pandemic and mababang mababa yung market. So, if you buy shares right now sa mutual funds, very mura. Like, kami talaga halos every week maglagay na kasi uh, murang-mura yung share. So, imagine nyo, pagkatapos din ng pandemic, yung value ng shares nyo, lalago na, di ba? So, the best opportunity is when the market is really low. But of course, the best time to start is now. The best, I know, the best time to start, to start is yesterday to invest. But of course, the second time is now. <laughs> Alright, so, um, ito, so automatic, meron ka ng 1,000 pesos. So if yung 1,000, bibili mo ng Soldivo, which is less than 1 pesos. So one, more than 1,000 na shares mo. Yan. And then access to dominate online marketing tools. This is a special ano din lang benefit, which is um, kung gusto mo ng online marketing. Kasi if you want to avail this, 
this costs around 40,000. Um, I worked before with, uh, di ba, nag-work tayo sa mga clients natin and yung mga marketing tools, mahal na mahal talaga. So, dito free na yan for every member. And then, discounts on courses, car purchase, and property purchase. May kilala ako na bumili siya ng Ford Everest. Yung na-save niya talaga is 150,000 plus. That's because walang middleman. So, dito sa IMG kasi, you can DIY. So, no need for middleman, for car purchase, for, so for non-life purchases, and everything else. May Cousin din ako na member na bumili siya ng property. Naka-discount siya almost 200,000. So, magkano lang yung membership? 6,000. So, yun. Ano, maraming yung ina-advocate talaga ni IMG is we save now. So, we can save more then. All right, and then may pangalawa tayo, which is uh, which is advanced or associate membership, and that's twelve three eight two, and that's what Lai and um, Miss Sheila has, no? So hundred monthly. So ano yung meron dito na plus, ano? So yung one hundred thousand naging one million na na presidential accident insurance, yung memorial mo naging um, five hundred thousand na, yung retirement fund mo naging one point oh by B. Aside from being like uh, a freelancer, you can also share. No, that only means na yung career no, you can share it to your family. For example, yung sister mo, yung brother mo, inst instead na pupunta pa sila sa sa akin, sample or sa ibang mga IMG members, pupunta na siya sa yo kasi member ka na. And also them, they can also start investing and in mutual funds. Mayito dapat buong pamilya, yung mga friends mo, good influence ba kasi sila den yayaman, sila den makakover, right? So, yeah, and then you can have it as a business, but as kasi, I really feel like um, it's really help for the Filipino. Every Filipino, ano, um, la, you know, both of us like came from UP, no? so yung nasi serve ko is clients sa labas. And although the pay is good, although um, maganda din yung business nila, but I don't really find fulfillment then because um, I don't know. Um, Sila, okay, maganda yung business. But when I met IMG mo, it's really fulfilling. Kahit kaibigan mo lang na sabihan ka na, hair, natapos ka na talaga yung utang ko. After 10 years, nakuha niya yung ATM card niya from a, a loan shark ba yun? Lending company. So, mapapaluha ka kasi dahil dun daw sa sinabi ko sa kanya. So, ayun, so, nakaka-find nakaka ako ng sense of fulfillment. Talagang tulong sa kanila. And then, of course, um, especially dun sa nag-career din. Kasi right now, na-pandemic, they're earning good income. Na-pandemic, na-pandemic, ano? And um, watch, um, free travel, and of course, free HMO na short term, hindi mo na kailangan na humuha talaga ng ibang HMO. So, ito, actually, may free HMO ako aside sa aking long-term care as an ad active advocate ng IMG. So, you can increase your cash flow here. For example, mag-DIY ka sa family mo for Kaiser. So, yung commission yan is balik na sa'yo. Diba? 20% din yan. So, instead na sa iba, like sa akin or sa ibang agents pa. So, for example, kay Lai, sa husband niya, siya na, siya na, sa kanila na. So, they can save money and also for Miss Sheila and her sibling and um, his lifetime part, his life partner, <laughs> si Sergia. Natutuwa ako sa kanila talaga. And then, life insurance. So, marami dito and um, investments here. We don't have to pay for sales fee. Talagang buong buo. Kung maglalagay ka ng 500, talagang 500 pesos mo ma-invest. Hindi kagaya ng sa bank, yung sa mga um, UITF. No? So, May charges pa yang sayang na sayang. And then, real estate, ayala, mga bibigating companies talaga. No? Imagine nyo, mga ganitong companies, um, they trust IMG. They partner with us because they also understand what we're fighting for. They also um, love our advocacy. And then, general insurances, may mga nagpapamember din na just because they want the um, car insurance nila is... Uh, maka-save na din. Ano? Kasi yearly, renew yung car insurance. So, yung nangyayari sa IMG, discounted ka na, agent ka pa ng sarili mo. Meron talaga dito, no? And then, they fell in love with the career na din ng IMG. Yung boss ko dati sa work, um, very active na din ngayon sa IMG. And natutuwa talaga ako kasi um, madami na din siyang natutulungan sa, like, sa BPO na sector, sa security na sector. So, um, baka kayo din, no? Um, we, let's become advocate yung sa mga freelancers kasi most ng freelancers walang pang retirement talaga, di ba? Kasi walang auto-deduct na for retirement. Minsan SS lang and SSS is not enough talaga. And even SSS is putting their fund in mutual funds like Phil Equity where I'm also putting for my retirement. Diba? So, ilan lang ibibigay sa'yo ng SSS, but if you put directly in Phil Equity, mas lalago pa yan ng mas malaki. So, it's okay to put in SSS, but you save more for, for yourself talaga. Okay? And then, allied services is how to create a corporation. Say, for example, malaki na yung net worth mo, and, or if you know someone yun, na nag-aaway-away sa bahay at tupa, so ito yung makakasolve. Alright? Kasi, um, hindi na kailangan ng estate tax and 
lawyer. So corporation na lang, corporation for the family. And then everything else meron dito. And the great thing is um, kung a member kayo and you want to pursue the career, siyang kota. So hindi ka required na um, may, meron kang production ganyan ngayong month or your family and you can share it to your friends and meron ka ng commission but hindi siya required. But you know what, since I joined, kung pero talaga sa mission and Mag you know, um, maganda keeps coming in. <laughs> Ayun na. So, if you join our advocacy, yan lang siya. Minsan, I want to share lang din the, the income side kasi um, sometimes sa atin, sabihin wala akong extra for or enough lang yung kita ko sa aking freelancing job for my um, for my expenses. So, um, dito nag-offer si IMG ng, yun na nga, um, if you if you DIY for your family, you get to save. So, for example, if you share to five people, <clears throat> You can already have a cash flow. So, ito lang yung mga figures. You can learn more about this, no? So, um, this is extra income aside from your freelance job. Imagine meron ka ng 55,000, no? If you help more people. But of course, mas, actually, mas malaki pa nga dito, no? Um, after joining um, IMG a year after, yun nga, na, nag-IMG na ako kasi nag-cross over na din yung income ko and sa work ko nun and uh, of course, I love the the ano the their mission and marami din dito nga while being a teacher while being a principal they do IMG while being an engineer they do IMG while being a freelancer they do IMG i just decided to do it full, full time because i want to be with my family more and right now both me and my um husband both of us are in IMG um my husband quit his engineering job also so we can um you know, be with our kids full time and be full time financial educators as well. So, you know, I hope that this has helped again. Um, give your details to Lai or to and Sheila um, so that you can be registered here sa ating um, campaign and you can be part of the 30 million Filipinos. And I congratulate you in advance and uh, welcome you in advance to our community. So you join soon. So welcome in advance our community and together let us achieve your goals. And join soon. Um, if you have questions, you have you can ask now here on healthcare ongoing ngayon, um, by our mentor from Hong Kong. And if you have questions, we can have another session. I want to leave you with what my mentor said. Um, option or financial independence is not a dream. Raming mga nati fail tuloy dahil um procrastinate. No? So um, decide now and change your life, change your families. If help. Um, please join the class after this if you wanna. Okay, would invite me again soon. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Hera. Kahit anong natin sa buhay, keep working. But keep forgetting, we seem to forget that health is the real health. Kasi yun ang natin tomorrow. Kamas na nailangan yung mga lalong nahihirapan. Kung kaya naman nilang maghulog ng paunti-unti, basta meron kayo yung protection ka. Kasi baka kinikita mo hindi sapat sa pambili ng gamot. Marami nakakasakit, mga anak, di ba, o ikaw mismo. Lalo kung ikaw yung breadwinner, nagtatrabaho ka para sa pamilya mo, tapos bigla ka nagkasakit, para na yung pamilya mo. Kahit nga anong estado, man thinks it's all hard. That's so, why it's important to have it. Kasama ko ang Kaiser, kahit maputi na ang buho ko. May Kaiser health card ka na ba? Sharon Cuneta po para sa Kaiser.